We cover all the pop culture news here on Earth, all the way out to the Gamma Quadrant. This is Rob from Keeping Up with the Cardassians, and you're listening to Talk Talk Punch. It's the best TV intros of all time. This is Talk Talk Punch. Thank you so much to both our audio podcast listeners and our YouTube viewers for joining us. I'm Brody. I'm joined by, as always, by Tudong Dylan. Hey. And the man of a thousand nicknames, Charlie Hickman. All right. I like it. I've nice. I've run out. It's it's been a really difficult thing to try to keep up on that. So you may just be the man of a thousand nicknames for a while. I'll take it. <laughs> All right. Hey, did you guys know that if at any point you like what you hear and you want to hear more of us, we do have a Patreon where you can get exclusive content about topics that you won't hear on this main channel, such as mailbags, behind the scenes, and special lists. You can find more information mm-hmm. about that in the description below. And if you haven't already, we would honestly, honestly love it if you liked, subscribed, and hit that notification bell so you can come back here every Wednesday to hang out with us and have some fun because it's a TV episode, so Charlie is happy. I am happy. And I, I am was, happy. I was thinking about TV intros, and I was like, ooh, we should do a top three because there's some that are really good. Yeah. I'm just impressed that you can think of three TV shows, period, bro. So I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that your top three are just like the last three TV shows that you watch, but we'll see. We'll see. It's not true. We'll no, like, no. The only TV shows nope. you've watched. Nope. Nope. Not so. Not so. You'll see. I don't know. Like I've WWE got some good Raw ones. is number one for sure. I got some good <laughs> ones, and I'm actually curious if we're going to have any crossovers between the three of us. Stay tuned. We'll see. I think there's also going to be some honorable mentions at the end because there's actually I actually had more than three that I wanted to put on, <gasps> and wow. I was like, Wow. I can't decide, so I'm actually gonna like say there's gonna be some honorable mentions because oh, you, you're gonna want to stick around for that because hearing Brody name more than three TV shows in a sitting is like a feat in and of itself. So there's there's at least one wait to hear that. there's at least one other that I wasn't sure if it was gonna make it on my list, and then it didn't, but it's still a good one. Well, I'm sure that'll be my number one. So okay, are you guys ready for this? Oh yeah, Woo! what happened there? That's not the right Let's talk some TV. There it is. That's the right one. Ready for this? Okay. So the order today is going to be me, and then Charlie, and then Tudong. So I hope you got a good one to to go very last, Tudong. I think so. I think so. All right. My number three is a really good intro. And I I watched it every time. That's going to be a common thing with my list, at least, is whenever I would watch these episodes, I'd have to watch the whole intro because I loved it so much. And this one, oh, this one just stood out to me. Oh, it's the Daredevil Netflix show with all the red. Is it paint? Is it blood? I don't know. Paint in the town red. But it is so cool. I just and the I song. Always, I always thought it was wax from the uh, you know the candles that you like because he's Catholic. Maybe I don't know what it is, but it looks really neat. Yeah, I believe it's it's wax that is made out of blood that is then used yeah. to paint. Ah. I think is nice. Yes, so I, 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 that's I, what the wiki, the wiki says. I covered all the bases then. <laughs> But yeah, I just I love from the first time I saw this, I was like, that's one of the greatest intros I think I've ever seen. And I watched it every single time for every single season because it's so good. And I love the song. The song is still my ringtone. It's been my ringtone since like season one came out. Whenever that was. What was that? 2015 or something like that? 2014? It was a long time ago. But it's been my ringtone for a long time because I really love that, that theme song. Oh, gosh, it's so good. I'm really curious if they're going to keep this or just update it for the new for the new uh, Disney Plus uh, Born Again version of this show. 
I'm okay if they update it, but it's got to be like, it's got to be the same. And it's got to use the same song. I hope same so. Song. I agree. Because, oh, I love it. 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 So there you go. There's my number three. <laughs> Netflix, Marvel, Daredevil. Nice. <laughs> Charlie? Um, <laughs> sorry, you're making me laugh over here. Uh <laughs> So uh, my my number th- so look my my criteria was was uh, essentially st- stuff I I I, I like we, we don't really watch you know a lot of intros anymore these days right because mm. uh, w- now we have the skip intro button which is uh, even when I like the the song or like the credits you know once I've seen it a few times it's just like me get that skip oh, intro uh, but there are some intros that have been ingrained into my into my be my very being from the days before there was a skip intro button uh and and look there's different kinds of intros and at the at the risk of sounding uh trying to come off a little a little over uh intellectual you have like your thematic intros like that are kind of interesting you like the theme of the show you have your atmospheric intros like this daredevil that's kind of giving you a a vibe that you're kind of getting and then you have like these kind of expository intros where you're kind of almost giving narrative uh, you know, you're showing pictures of the characters and their slappy little circumstances, or just straight up telling the story like Gilligan's Island theme. Uh, oh, this is what yeah. the show is about. Um, oh, Gilligan's you know, Island so is a good I, I, one too. It's a good one. Very good. Very good intro. You, you it's uh, it's the my my uh, my very first theater class. Uh, they said, all right, you you have to establish this with a scene. You have to you're going in a rowboat to go across there to like retrieve something for your family. And so we got on stage and I said, hey, why don't we all get in this rowboat? Let's go across the lake and let's go get this and bring it back to our family. And my teacher was very mad. You can't just say it all. But Gilligan's <laughs> Island said, no, 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 no. We'll say it all. You can put my number three up before I tangent off into something else. The Sopranos mm. was a phenomenon. Mm. It's an absolute, uh, an absolute cultural phenomenon. And while it was gripping the nation, certainly, uh, it was gripping this, this young man. Uh, and my buddy, my buddy Dave uh, would come over every week, every Sunday night. We would turn down the lights and we'd sit there in, on our sofas, sipping our sodas. And, and, and the Sopranos would come on and that intro would kick in. He's driving his car. Where's he going? Who knows? Going home. He's just driving home from work. He's driving. We got the moody music playing. It's New Jersey. I never been before, but that's probably what it looks like. Uh, we get, and it's like a little mini movie. And man, it would just set the tone. And it was just and it was this minimal, minimalist like credit. Kind of, hey, some some would say it inspired the minimalist credit movement that you might see in shows like Daredevil, uh, where you're just kind of getting this mood, atmospheric music and tone without really telling you anything what the show is about. The show could be about anything. You, you get home, and be like, hey, it's me, Tony Soprano, and I like to eat a lasagna. And he's just like, you know, and it's a sitcom, and who knows? He's just driving a car. Uh, I'm a paper boy. Forget about it. But he, you know, he's a mob boss. Uh, it's, it's, this is one of those shows where it's impossible to uh, sell to someone who's never seen it uh, just how good it was at the time that it debuted. Mm. Um, because it was like, just there's nothing like it. And now there's lots of things that are like it and better than it. So I can understand like people not wanting, if they try to go back and watch it going, really, this, this, mm. was, this was the fuss? But even something as simple as the intro credits was like mind-blowing at the time. So The Sopranos. Never seen it. I don't know how I never saw it because I was living with you apparently when you were watching this every Sunday. So I must have been oh, downstairs. You, playing you video did games. not come. To, you, you did not watch Carnival with us. I did. And Dave and I watched every new HBO series when it came out. May he rest in peace. Those I was probably times. watching wrestling. Yeah, but no doubt. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Tudong. What's your number three? Mine, oddly enough, was actually quite the opposite. It did not take the world by storm, and it, uh, it I don't want, it kind of went into obscurity, even though people were trying to kind of bring it back, and that's Firefly. It came on, and no, not a lot of people watched it. it. People really tried to get it back in there, and when I first watched it, I actually was watching it on the, like, through DVDs. DVDs borrowed, in fact, by Charlie. And I remember when I first watched it, a lot of shows, it's really funny. Sometimes I'll like the, the you know, it's really catchy and it'll come on and I'll, I'll appreciate it. And sometimes I'll just be like, 
yeah, I don't know about this, but it really, really grew on me so much that I absolutely fell in love with it. And apparently with Nathan Fillion, because man, <laughs> I'd seen him in other things, I'm sure before, but I saw him in this, and I was like, oh, 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 oh this man right here. Oh, fantastic. Uh, either way, the point is, is that I think this is one of the, like, I mean, the song is fantastic. They're talking about Serenity, and they're talking about the ship, and they have all the different absolute misfits on here. I love it. It's, my, my, it's one of my top three favorite, obviously, third favorite TV intros. I, I can't believe it grew on me as much as I did. When I first saw it, I was just like, this is terrible. Why, what is this? Kind of a, I'm like, then I'd be like, the show is fantastic, except for the stupid opening. And then after a while, I'm like, <laughs> I love this opening. It was complete, absolute... Um, uh, Stockholm Syndrome. It held me hostage and I fell in love with it and now I'm like, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> I didn't even think of this one. Oh, bro. Bro. I feel like Firefly, bro. it's, it's bro. so far removed now. I, I, it, it's just, it doesn't get into my brain like it used to. Nathan Fillion, bro, starring in it. He's starring in it, bro. Nathan Fillion is starring in it. It's true. It's the, true. The, be the beginning of a lifelong love, of, love affair and several restraining orders was. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I'm still respecting those restraining orders, by the way, Mr. Fillion. We're proud of you. <laughs> proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes they didn't work, but now they are. It's okay from our mistakes. All right. Number two. My number two. So my number two was very nearly my number one. It was so close. And I had to like. Man, I was back and forth with my number two and my number one. Ultimately, I think my number one was a little bit better. But this one is just something special. It's something special. And I'm going to go oh. with the X-Men 97 because they upped that song just a bit. They upped the, you know, the animation just got a little bit better. The only thing, the only thing about the 97 intro that isn't as good is when the characters are running together, there's not like the bell dong of like, dong. It's, such, oh, a, it's yeah. such a weird little thing, but every time I watch the intro, because I, this is another one, I watch the intro every time. I watch 97 with my kids, and they're like, Dad, skip the intro. And I'm like, never. What? Don't <laughs> even say that. And, and I it don't just, believe in child abuse. It, it, just, it just got better with the 97, right? So, okay, so like starting out, when I was watching this show in 92, 93, 94, 95, whatever, um, it was like when this intro came on, it's like something special is happening. Like I'm watching X-Men. It's, it's Saturday morning. It's 10 o'clock. Something special is yeah. going to happen. I'm watching X-Men and you just love it. You get the characters. You, every character gets their little intro. The song is like unmatched to any other theme song. <clears throat> and so I just, I love that. And then when 97 came out and they just like redid it, Nearly exactly, but like better because then they're switching things out. So now you want to watch the intro because it's going to give little hints. Maybe they're switching out the characters. You know, all oh. of a sudden Magneto's got his own little oh, yeah, yeah. character card there. You know, uh, other people disappear. Nightcrawler shows, you know, and it's like, ooh, and then you see something and you're like, ooh, ooh, Nightcrawler got his own thing or Magneto got his own thing, you know. Or the scenes, you know, just swap a little bit. And you're like, oh, well, why did they put that there? Why is Apocalypse there now? And so I just, oh, I love, love this intro. It is burned into my soul. This is, this was like <laughs> from childhood. This was like my favorite intro. And it's just, it's so good. It is so good. And it's just. I remember when I saw this and like they were going and then I was like, hey, why is Cable not no longer in the whole, like the intro and all that? Well, what happened? And then, you know, he yeah. did when he came back. I was like, he didn't come. He didn't leave for good, did he? Like, yeah, I don't know. They cut, they cut the cord. Oh, ah, because it's cable. I got that. Took me a second, but I got it. I got it. Mm -hmm. Umbilical yeah. cable. You know, it's, it, it works on levels. There's, there's <laughs> layers. 97 different beautiful layers. Oh. This, this is a good pick, bro. I thought I did think yeah. about this one. I was I was so sure it was going to be on your list. That yeah, I, I, was me like, too. I, I don't need to put it on mine. And very nearly number one, very nearly by like a hair's margin. So we'll see, we'll see what your number one is. I'm curious. Um, Me too. Like my number two is something from my childhood, uh, something that I was far too young to understand when I watched it for the first few times. But my parents would have it on in the background, and I remember watching this intro, 
And immediately what hooks you, obviously, is the theme song. It's a great, fantastic theme song. Uh, dare I say even better than the X-Men 97 theme song. I know. A little Airwolf? bit of blasphemy. Oh. It's Airwolf. It is Airwolf. How did you know no, it was Airwolf? No, oh, gosh. No, obviously, cheers. And so the, the intro is like That's a montage a of old photos. It's not better than X-Men. Mm-hmm. And, and over these old photos, it's like a title sequence. It's got this amazing intro playing. It's got like the cast names. And I, I kept trying to figure out who, like, I, I kept thinking, oh, these are pictures of the cast. And, and the names, you know, my little whatever, you know, tiny brain was like trying to like figure out, okay, this guy's kind of like around. That must be Norm. And, and there's like a girl there. Maybe that's supposed to be Carla. And so, and trying to match the names to like these, like, but really, like, and then you get older, you realize, okay, that's not really what they're going for there. What they are going for is this timeless feel. Yeah. And because the way that the intro is done, that no matter how long the show was on air, no matter how the cast changed physically, no matter how, uh, you know, cast members came and go, uh, when Coach passed away and Woody Harrelson came on the show and Diane left and, you know, and then Rebecca came and all the different changes that happened, there's a timelessness to it. That there has mm. always been this bar these old photos, it has always been this place where people were there and welcome and family and that the show even ends on a note of like, and it will always be. It's like there's always, it's like this timeless yeah. effect of like, hey, this has always been and will always be some part of your life where you can visit and just be family. You're part, when you're here, you're part of the, you're part of this, this, this net, this woven fabric of, of friends and family that is just generation after generation and best theme song in television. So I just, I just really, I really have always really liked this, this theme song and it's, and it's short enough. The intro is short yeah, enough that yeah. uh, it's enjoyable to watch and like a, a nice atmosphere setting, uh, tone setting, uh, credit sequence. So one of my favorites. It's not better than X-Men though. Great. Great. Oh, it's, a, it's a way better theme than X-Men. No. It's a better theme, man. No, I, dis- I'm sorry. I disagree. I disagree. There's like never been a better a better matching of like lyric, music, and tone to a TV show than the Cheers theme song. I can't even remember how it goes. Oh, bro, making <laughs> your way in the world today takes everything, everything you got. <laughs> Taking a break from all your. This is one of those like uh, back in the day where like uh, they used to sell CDs of like TV jingles. Mm-hmm. You know, like Devil's Man, and they're riding in the car, and they like put on the radio station like the baloney song. Yeah. There's like so few like uh, just songs that exist in like the zeitgeist today that like you could start singing, and then and then a yeah. chorus of strangers would join in. But when you hit that chorus of this song, sometimes you wanna go, and then and everyone would where everybody knows your name, and the lyrics to the X Men '97 theme, nobody even knows them. They don't care. All the little X Men here. All the little X Men there. All the little X Men go out there. (laughs) Oh, man. The year was 1997. (laughs) Professor X is dead. No, he's not. Yeah, Yeah, but everybody can air air guitar to the X Men theme so much. Show me. Let's see it. Yeah, I don't think I could. (laughs) Why do you sound like Tommy Lee Jones air guitaring? (laughs) Our house, hen house, and and stone house. We need to have a we need to have a top ten TV theme song ranking episode or something. We can and we'll fight we'll fight about this another day. I I don't know that we could because we would never come to any sort of consensus. We would come to a two thirds Uh, consensus, and and I think Andy would go further. And that, this makes it sound like I don't like the X-Men theme. I love the X-Men theme. Don't get me wrong. It's, that's a no-skips uh, so, a song right there. That is a no-skips song, but not as good as the cheer sound. So, sorry. I disagree. All right, Tudong, what's your number two? Well, my number two, I'm not going to have much to say. Go ahead and throw it up there, bro. Because is it Cheers? It's basically... No, it's not, oh. actually. It's Daredevil. Yeah, I I why you got to use that tone, Brody? <laughs> like, <laughs> cheers. Please, yeah, what's wrong with Cheers? I didn't say anything was I, wrong I, with I Cheers. <laughs> I thought about That's Cheers. I also thought about Frasier, but, I mean, the theme song is actually at the end, so it's more of an outro, and there's not a lot of good TV outros. Uh, and scrambled eggs. Yeah, it's a bit, one of the best yeah. TV outros. Yes. <laughs> That's the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> there you go <laughs> but i've got to say i love this one right here i i i thought about cheers i thought about uh i even thought about x-men oddly you know after cheers of course but this one yeah i could see this one is is easily one of my favorites it shows you all the stuff basically everything brody said is it it it, it, it holds up it's really good. holds up it's really good so good 
Bang, 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 bang. Maybe it'll be my number one, and then we can just get a nice little three, two, one. Yeah, Could you imagine? Nice. Could you imagine if we had a three-way crossover? That would be that would be something. Yeah. It's not gonna happen though. It's not gonna happen. I don't know. What's your number one? Maybe it's all of our number ones, Brody. Okay. My number one is as soon as I saw the show and I saw this intro, I was like, I can never skip this intro. I just want to watch it over and over again. Monday Night Raw. Game of Thrones. The Game of Thrones intro is just this fascinating thing to me. The way that they had the whole map be building with gears and raising up, and then it does the same type of thing where you watch it and the intro is going to change depending on what is happening in the story. And so uh, a city might get destroyed. And that next episode, the city is like all destroyed and it's there's smoke and stuff like that. And, and it, it'll, it'll go through different cities. And so maybe you'll, you're watching and then it'll go over to this whole other city that you've never seen before. And that's because in that episode, they're going to do something in that city. It's just, and so between the style, the the way that it changes throughout the whole, all the seasons, um, and then the the song, like the theme song, is great too. It's just, it's it is so good, and I, I think it's because of this style where you can see the gears and the castles and the buildings. Like that's what kind of put it over the edge for me over over X Men, um, because it's just. There's so many little details that you can look at and you could just watch it over and over and you just watch all these things coming up. And it's just fascinating. Like, I love the way that they did this intro and, and it just continued to improve and change and do all this stuff where you really did want to watch it every single time. And it's it's to the point now where with like the HBO uh, opener where they're like, quick, quick, whoa. Uh, whenever I hear that, the next thing that comes in my head is the bum, bum, ba, 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 ba. and like it's just those two are just like married together. And so it's it's just it's so good. It is so good. It's my favorite. I think it's the best intro of all time. I can honestly say I've never seen the intro or ever even one episode of this. Wow. Go watch just, the just intro at least. Get straight to the last season. That's the only good one. Oh, come now, Charlie. <laughs> no, at least go watch the, the intro. It's it's fascinating to watch. It's so cool. Hmm. Yeah, this intro's all right. Oh. <laughs> it's all right, but it's not number one. Because I tell you, the number one is the easiest number one of all time. We have done a lot of lists on this podcast. We have done a lot of different lists. Brody's going to link to every list we've ever done in the comments below. It's all uh, in a playlist. It's in a playlist. There is a top a three playlist, playlist, playlist that you can go to. And you can just start there one never, and just keep going. There has for never like been an easier number hours. one. There has can, never been an easier number one than this. Can, can we this guess? This is the easiest number one. You, you, you want to guess? Is that what you said? Yeah. Go ahead. It, because it's for you. It is for me. I'm going to guess... The Simpsons. But you're guessing oh. that not because it's for me, but because it is the correct answer. <laughs> it, it, it has been on the air since 1989, and it has never had the same credit sequence twice. If you want, you want to talk about uh, looking for new little Easter eggs in here, whether That's it's true. the chalkboard gag or the That's couch true. gag or even like the little scanner in the grocery store. You get to see all the lovable characters in action. It's entertaining. It's wonderful. Danny Elfman on the freaking it's score. True, Brody back no, in the height true. of Danny Elfman's powers in the 80s. It really this was. is one of, the, one of the most easily recognizable pieces of music. Uh, it is, and it's just a perfectly crafted intro sequence with, with, uh, with just, a, just a, a wonderful introduction to the town and the characters Ooh. and enough newness each time that uh, yeah. you want to keep watching. Right. I kind of sometimes, uh, if, you know, if I'm watching this with the kids and we've watched a couple, you know, maybe one or two in a row, maybe I'll skip intro and then backtrack a little bit so we can see the couch gag. <laughs> back it up a little bit. Back that up. Um, but man, this is what a great show. And I, I made a reference mm -hmm. today to a 16 year old guitar student about The Simpsons. And he's like, yeah, I get that. I understand that reference. 
Wow, how well, hard it is wow. to make references to things that I watch as a kid. Of course he gets it. It's still on the air. Still going strong. Still making new title sequences to this day. God bless you, Simpsons family, uh, for your 30 whatever years of service to this nation. Mm-hmm. No, this is a good pick. This is good. That's pick. a very good pick. Very good pick. Wow. All right, Dylan, close us out with, uh, with the, tall, the Tall Man TV show. New heart. You know, I actually... I a new heart get out of here. No, this t this one it doesn't have it doesn't have a song, and it's not like it's always exactly the same. It has more of a spoken thing on there, but they but I have to say it really gets you in there, and that's the Twilight Zone. You've got oh, this you, is a really you've got good the idea. visuals. You've got the set. It's not a gift for some reason, but either way, there is a door and it breaks apart. It doesn't matter. You get the. Uh, You've got the, the scary music and you've got the uh, you've got Rod Serling like saying his little monologue about, you know, entering a different dimension of sight and sound and all that kind of stuff. And then you get a great, absolutely timeless, even though probably for more like the 50s or 60s, timeless back from back then. And all of those different kinds of issues, hey, some of it's still relevant today and some of them are still completely terrifying to this day. I was like, why is it not like? Giffing it up here. I don't get it. But either way, gif or not, it doesn't matter. The whole point is, is that my number one favorite of uh, intro of all time, they always had the uh, they always had the um, marathons on Thanksgiving, and mm-hmm. that was always the best part of Thanksgiving. And that's the Twilight Zone marathon. But yeah, uh, this, Twilight Zone, I love it. This is a really good pick, too. I, I made a, a Twilight Zone reference to my, my middle son about the episode where you know it's like ah, i just i finally have all the time to watch all the ipad videos that i want in the world but then he doesn't have a charger and it's like no, no. oh uh, yeah have, have you watched the jordan the jordan peele uh twilight zone is that any good does I anyone seen the update i'm curious about that I'm, in the comments yeah. if you have watched the new twilight zone the, Ooh, the peel stuff definitely. let us know if that's worth watching i i am i'm curious and intrigued to see it this is a great pick dylan great pick. I, I, I started watching twilight zone with my kids recently they're still really good. Yeah, yeah right. You show them the movie. You get like some Shatner on the wing, and no. Well, well that was John we got, on the, yeah, in the we movie. got Shatner because he was in the old show, but the movie, yeah. But the episodes they really like. And, uh, it, and even though this isn't the GIF isn't moving, it's just as creepy. Just having that door just sitting there, sitting there like slightly tilted in space, just as creepy. The scary door. <laughs> Future, Futurama does the scary door, which is a spoof on on the Twilight. You guys, you guys, what? Well, Futurama almost made my list. What a great intro that Futurama is. Never seen it. Uh, Dan, Danny Elfman did the score for that as well. Did he really? Yeah, I didn't know that. All right, Brody, what are what are these honorable mentions? Okay, let's so, hear them. Yeah. So the one that was really close to making my list was Peacemaker. I don't know if you guys have seen the intro for that. No, it's really it's a really good intro. Did you see the intro, Tudong? I didn't see the intro. I haven't seen any of it. Oh, watch the intro. The intro is great. It's hey, a whole, hey, it's a whole you... choreographed dance with all the cast. So you've got John Cena in, in his costume. Nobody else is in costume. Well, that's not true. There's his, like his little buddy. But then uh, you get Robert Patrick doing some dancing. Like, it's a really good intro. It's really good. Um, Did you ever see uh, him like when he was in the uh, Fast and Furious? Like, like nine and ten or something like that no but i watched him for like 20 oh. years in wrestling so that doesn't count it's all thrown out the window if you don't watch him in his current stuff <laughs> he basically said if you were a fan of him as a wrestler but you don't watch him in the fast and furious movies then you're not really a fan and i was like i still watched it but oh. yeah I'm, I'm fine with that no fan i wasn't a fan of him no, he when, doesn't. when he was wrestling either so john cena john cena yeah why not? I thought your kids loved John Cena. My, that that was the thing, was kids loved John Cena, the wrestler. Adults didn't. He just beat everybody. It just, it just got too old. It was too much. Oh, so he's like a real, a real Goldberg type. It was, yeah, yeah, kind of. But he did it for like 15 years. Goldberg was only around for like two. Fair enough. So. Hey, I'm just, I'm just dropping a, some, some wrestling references just to, yeah, just to let me you know, tell you, let me tell you right now, here. I gotta get some the three of us face John Cena, I say we'd beat him. Ooh, That's right. The it. three of us together against John Cena. One of us, it. while he's beating on the other two, would go around 
hit him with a frying pan or a chair or something like that, mm. get the win. Charlie, obviously that'd be you. I, 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 I do volunteer to be the one who's sneaking around the back and not the one who is taking the beating uh, because my body at this point might just turn into a disintegrated pile of dust uh, when he, he like, body slam me and he might just see me completely liquidate on the mat. Uh, I'm not not confident was, in my. I was, uh, I was only saying it because either, either, be, anymore. either either you would be the one to to sneak around and get him from get him from behind, or you'd be sneaking just out of the entire place. So I'm like, yeah. well, let's make it useful. Let's have you sneaking around the back. Hopefully, still. We don't, we don't hear the announcers go, oh my gosh, he's gone completely boneless. He is just a flesh sack. Oh my gosh, I've never seen so much bonelessness on the mat before. He is literally flat. He is like a carpet. Um, Trust me, I would be working on my cardio so I can kind of run, run away from him. I'd be like, bro, after you, you, after you train, that's a different story. All right, now we're training. All right, now I'm in. I'm in. Yes. Get the training going. Uh, yeah. He's older um, now. It's okay. Exactly. Any, any other uh, honorable mentions smart. that we want to toss out there? Uh, there was something else, but I forgot it now. Oh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I can't remember what it was now. I, th- I, th- I thought you might uh, have your, your favorite uh, HBO show on there, but you, you, you left it off there. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, come on now. Oh, Westworld, West, Westworld was really oh, good. Oh, Westworld was yeah. a really good one. I almost put Deadwood. I thought Deadwood was really good. That was good. Hey, all these HBO shows. Hey, mm-hmm. little hat tip to the Sopranos. Say thank you, thank you for the thanks, Sopranos. The inspiration. <laughs> all right. Well, this was a good one. Uh, yeah, Charlie, you want to yeah. close us out? Look, this is a this is a really hard question because there's so many. Uh, we have we had animated half hour shows. We had hour long dramas. Mm. All of these different TV shows with all these different styles and lengths. This is a tough list. I would love to hear from you. What are your favorite intros? Your favorite intro themes? Are you are you on? Uh, is X Men better than the Cheers theme song? Come on now, people. I, I, I'm not saying X Men '97 was fantastic show, amazing theme song, but Cheers! Come on, people. Get it on board. Come on. Get it's on board. <laughs> Don't listen to time. that man. He hates television. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, we look forward to, to seeing you in the comments, and we'll, we'll talk with you soon. See you next time. Like and subscribe. Bye.